Hello guys, I'm Nintendugo, I'm back, and today I will show you how to stop your downloaded apps from getting revoked by Apple. These apps are the ones that have a, an enterprise certificate, and because Apple doesn't want mm, enterprise certificates to be used like this, like mm, stores like Ignition, Twigbox, uh, they eventually revoke them, so you are not able to open your apps again unless you re-download them with a new certificate, which can take a few days for them to replace. So if you do this, the apps will never get revoked, unless something fails, obviously, <laughs> but it shouldn't. So unless Apple revokes the certificate, it shouldn't affect you. So you should still be able to open your apps. I currently have just one, Pokemon Go, Pokemon, whatever. Uh, and just to show you, this works on the latest iOS version. 13.3 at the moment. So to start, go ahead, open a new note and type this. OCSP.apple.com Hit done, share, scroll down, save to files and save it wherever. I already have it saved. here, my iCloud drive, so I won't save it. Now go to the App Store and download this free app, DNS Cloak Secure DNS Client. Link will be in the description. Open it and tap on these three little lines on the top left and make sure you take Connect On Demand. And if you don't want an annoying VPN icon all day on your screen, just make sure this isn't toggled. Go here to blacklist and whitelist and click on enable whitelist. Select your text file that should be named text by default. That text file is basically a txt that has ocsp.apple.com so that DNS clock knows which directions to mm, block. Return and search here for AdWord DNS, should be right here. If you can find it, just type here, AdWord DNS. Connect to the normal DNS, not the DAW. Well, if you want to connect to the family, it's your call, but it will block some websites that you maybe don't want to be blocked. So just connect to the normal one, AdWord DNS, use this server, allow, and now it will ask for your passcode. So I'll be right back. Once you type in your passcode, it should start connecting to the DNS. So give it a few seconds. And once it um, connects to the DNS, you should be here. But there's one thing left to do. Go to settings and this should be open. If not, go to general VPN, DNS cloak, connect on demand. And now if you open this website, it should tell you that it couldn't. So if you get this, Safari cannot open the website because this server cannot be found. You are good to go. You successfully blocked this Apple website and now your apps won't get revoked. This won't fix already revoked apps. So if you have an app and can't open it because it's revoked, um, I'm sorry, but the only thing you can do is to enable airplane mode and delete Safari history and all that. Open the app and disable airplane mode. That's the only thing you can do. But if your apps aren't revoked yet, you can block the revokes. Um, before I go, uh, you should know that if you have DNS cloak activated, uh, you cannot install new apps. Like, not from the App Store, but from Twigbox, Sub Valley, Ignition, you can install, install new apps from there. Uh, what can you do? Just go ahead, open DNS Cloak, click on that square, yellow square on top. Uh, this will stop the service, so if you reload here the website, see, it loads now. Uh, you can now install your apps, but do it as fast as possible. and. Once they are installed, restart the service. 
So now if I try to reload this, Safari cannot open the page. See? So this was everything. I hope you liked it and you were able to block that website to avoid getting revoked by Apple. Thank you for coming. Leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want, all those things. Bye.